Hey guys, what's up? I'm on Graphics here. Um, quick tutorial today before we get started. I'm sorry I haven't make it, been making any videos lately. That is because, you know, work again. But I'm starting school soon, even though school is going to be a bitch this year because I'm going to be a junior, you know, SATs, all that fun, fun stuff. Um, no work, or not as much work. So, that's a plus. So let's get started. Uh, to begin, I wasn't even going to do this tutorial. I thought it was ridiculous that people didn't know how to do this. It was pretty shocking. Um, I think this is definitely one of the first things you should learn if you're even thinking about getting into graphics or if you are into graphics already. You know that this is definitely where you start and that's working with blending modes and layers. So, I mean, yeah, it was, it was terrible. So, open the background. This is going to be how to add um, text or a picture to a textured background like you see here. It could be anything, a brick wall, add some graffiti to that. Whatever, same technique. So, get your text or picture or what have you. Um, Alright, rasterize this bad boy, and then get it right there. All we're going to do now is literally 10 seconds. So we go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, want about 1.5 out of 1.4, that's good. Okay, then you set the blending mode to overlay. That's it, you can also use soft light. Hard light, eh, not really too much. That, I mean, that looks kind of cool if you're going for like a Sin City type effect, you know, with like um, the color select thing. But I think overlay looks good. That's it, you're done. That's literally 10 seconds it took to add that. Now, this is a very basic way of using this technique. Um, in the next tutorial I do, I'll be showing you how to use the, um, uh, what was it, the perspective tool, I think. Let's see, it was the, yeah, perspective tool. Uh, to make this, um, appear as if it is part of a picture, like, say, you have a picture of an alley, camera's looking down the alley, and you want to add some text on the wall, make it look like it's part of the wall same technique used here all you would do is just use the perspective tool and I'll be showing you how to do that next tutorial so yeah that's it for now guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe download the toolbar and yeah see you.